So yeah, we can either go towards the pig or we can go this way. I guess let's start from here. Or one of these dudes. Whoa! What? I've never seen him do that before. One shot. Not quite. Actually, he has like a ton of HP. What? Yeah, you like that? Okay, dude. Blood of the Iron Bull. Nice. What's this? Oh, it's a stamina thingy or mana or health. Maximum mana, oh hell yeah. Okay, that's not a lot, but it's something. We can go here. Or here. Wait, can we go here? Oh, this is meditation. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take it. Take a chill pill for a second. Nice. I wonder if we get any clues on where to go from these meditation spots. Oh, we have another spark, okay. So I kind of want to do this one here. I feel like this is going to be huge for us. And after this, I think we're just going to start doing this for more crit chance, huh? Stamina. We also kind of want this. Moderately increased mana. We use mana a lot. Very, very powerful. And this guy seems to have dropped a thing, a spirit. Oh, by the way, I didn't check the lore from um, the Tiger's Acolyte. Rat Governor. Okay, what is that? Something good? Moderately increases thunder damage? What? Okay, well, not for us. I don't even know if we can do thunder damage right now. But let's quickly check the... The lore for the Tiger's Acolyte. Where is he? Is it Chief? Yeah. Where has a swordsman gone with tears in his eyes? The wild wind sweeps the northern suns, lonely and desolate skies. Grass visits the empty village huts, dust welcomes the evil guys. Who knows the bitterness of the lotus heart or the sourness within the pair's guys? So let me read this really quick and I'll give you guys a synopsis. So this guy was a swordsman, he had a wife and a child, and one day a yellow wind came to the city. His wife and son got sick from it. His wife died, but his son survived, although barely. Then he tried to find a cure for his son, so he went to New Mount Sumeru, because he heard there was a great bodhisattva there who would help him. He went there, but the bodhisattva was not there, and someone told him that he went to the Yellow Wind Ridge long ago, but he had not returned, so he set out to go there as well. They arrived at the ridge, and then one day, they passed by a dry well outside the village, and the man heard the tiger's roar. He climbed down to the well and found a hidden cavern where a great tiger lay. So, I'm not really sure, but this great tiger could actually be the um, younger brother of the tiger vanguard, right? I don't think we've heard about any other tiger so far. And this guy is called Tiger's Acolyte, so he probably revered the tiger. He was his disciple or something. But yeah, moving on, the tiger told him that he was a deity in the mountain. He said like everybody revered him. They even had a temple in his honor. And he ended up in a cave because he was ambushed by the Yogwai that summoned the fierce wind and took over his temple. So the man was doubtful. He asked around in the village and indeed everyone told him that what the tiger said was true. So I don't know how all that adds up. I feel like maybe the villagers thought he was talking about the tiger vanguard and not this guy. But yeah, he believed the tiger. Then the tiger brought out a strangely shaped gourd, filled it with water and gave it to the child. The child started to becoming well again. But then the tiger told the man that this yellow wind had harmed his essence, so he needed the flesh of the living so he could regain his former strength, and only then he could tame the raging wind and heal the child completely, so basically he tried to trick him. The man was suspicious, obviously, but as he watched his son become better each day, he actually started leading villagers into the tiger's cave, so they can be devoured. But of course, as time passed, 
the villagers found out what he had done and they killed his son. The man was consumed by regret and drew the sword he had sealed away for years. He fell upon the villagers and one by one he cut them down until the streets ran red with blood. Then alone he set out into the shifting sandstorm, lost in the ever howling wind. And that's where we found him, right? So yeah, apparently this uh, tiger is hidden inside an old well. Now, I do remember a well, so we can go check that out. Um, let me go back to the... Actually, it's pretty close, no? Isn't it? It's over here. I do remember a well that we passed uh, by a while ago. Next to that stone wolf we killed. So let me see if I can remember where that is. Uh, I think it was here. Next to that horse dude, right? There was a horse guy next to a big statue. And then we tried to get up the wall to kill those archers and there was a well nearby. Where was that? Wait, was it here? Actually, maybe not. Give me a second. Maybe it was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was here. Over there. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Have to kill this guy, I guess. Now, I think it was over here. There's a statue. Yeah, here. Okay, I guess that's not it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to where we were then and move on. Okay, let's continue from here, right? This guy doesn't seem to respawn. And we haven't been here, I think. Have we? Oh, we can go down there? Oh. What the hell? Okay, I see a chest. What? Okay, this is nuts. We have to go back up immediately. I just want to see where this leads. Okay, there's a sign actually. What? Interesting. Easy, easy. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Is he plucking a hair from his armpit? <laughs> oh no. What is this? Is this another ability? Armpit magic? <laughs> what is this? This befits you grandly. Hey, <laughs> luckily I've kept it close for its rightful owner. Wait, I'm the rightful owner? A plaque of many. Blowing strands into the air creates duplicates to assist in combat. Oh! This is the ability we could do at the beginning. Versus Erlang. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, look at this. It's, an, it's one of those statues. And it needs both the sternness of stone and the keenness of tiger. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Dude, so many places to go. I'm like so confused right now. 
Um, okay. I mean, this kind of looks like a boss arena, no? Or... Okay, give me a second, give me a second. I'm like so lost here, man. FPS drops. Where does this go? We have to go back up to where we were before the whole slide situation happened. Oh, we have a fragrant vine over there for our gourd, but I'm not going to use it. Oh, it's an enemy. Okay. Oh, no, I forgot. Good enough. Nice. Oh, who is that guy? I can target him, so that probably means he's an enemy. I think we've seen him before in one of the trailers, no? He was like dancing around or something. Mm hmm. Okay, give me a second. We'll go there next. But you have to go back to that slide. Oh, it's a boss. Gore Eye Daoist. Whoa. Wait, how do we. Okay. Oh no, this actually takes way too much mana to cast. I have to see what the upgrades do as well. Okay. Portals unlocked. Let's see what this guy is. He's a chief. Gorai Deoist. A strange man with a lamb on his back and a staff of blood red hue. He leaps and bounds with eerie might, a hundred eyes glowing in the night. A strange visitor once came to the temple of yellow flowers. He proclaimed himself trained in the mystic arts upon the Mount Linktai. Submit now and yield to me the thing, he told the master of the temple, and you will be spared. Beetle commander was sent to subdue him, and the man was sealed in a cocoon sack in the cave. Yet days later, a lesser guai brought word to the master that the sack lay sundered, and the captive had escaped. At this, the master gave nothing but a smile. Since his escape from the cocoon sack, a fleshy mess studded with many eyes had sprouted from the man's back. He paid no mind to this horrific sight and continued his wandering practice. He passed through a desolate mountain where bandits ran rampant and the nearby villagers lived in squalor. Here he chose to settle and summon rainfall. By his arts, the blessed peaks grew green with elms and willows, and the slopes cloaked themselves in pines and firs. After his efforts, the once barren mountains saw years of clement weather, and the people of the lowlands flourished in lumber. Yet the bandits cared nothing for an honest life. They saw the greenwood only as fresh plunder, and the growing number as ripe for the hunt. The man then took on the guise of an enlightened monk and went among the bandits' hideout to spread the wisdom of the Buddha. In the end, even the bandits forsook evil and came down to the mountain to live in peace. Years passed and came a day when the man entered the village and raised the ritual staff at the entrance. From its crown poured a blood-red light. Every person it touched fell into frenzy, tearing at each other as if under the thrall of some evil force. In mere moments, the lowlands became a pit of slaughter, and the ground overflowed with the blood of the slain. On the man's back, the hump gaped wide with countless eyes unveiled. Slowly, they sapped the spilled blood and sundered spirits. In no time, the lamp had swollen even larger, until it could absorb no more. Only then did the eyes slowly close. The man came back to himself and removed the staff. He then set out for the next place to settle. Okay. I don't think we've seen anything about all of this at all. So far. Maybe I'm wrong. So what does this do? What do these upgrades do? 140 seconds cooldown, 120 mana, a duplication spell, pluck a strand, chew it and spit it into the air to create multiple duplicates. These agile duplicates can fight or flee and will engage the enemy if the caster is attacked. 
This spell can be used to catch a breath or escape. However, the duplicates are fragile and can be quickly destroyed if directly confronted by the enemy. Increases the duration. Hitting enemy moderately extends the duration of the duplicates. Focus. Increases the damage dealt. Maximum health. An additional duplicate but more mana. Slightly increases the damage dealt by duplicates when using another spell after a plug of many. Weird. At appropriate times, duplicates can use Immobilize, Ring of Fire, and Rock Solid. What is Ring of Fire? That's interesting. Okay. Well, we'll see. Let's see what this does. Although I can imagine it's gonna be any good. Gore-Eye Deoist. We've heard about the Deoist before in Chapter 1. So this is... Moderately increases maximum mana. Okay, that could be good. Uh, what even is that? I don't understand. What does that do? Do we try that? Let's try it. Just to see what it does. Let's get the vine. We're gonna use it though, because I wanna find like some better gourd. It seems there are rarities for gourds, so I'm sure we're gonna find something else probably. Okay, so we came from down there. We have another bridge. I don't know what he was doing there, but I'll take it. I w Whoa. I will take it. Where are these guys hiding? I can't, I can't even see them. Do we heal up? Eh, I guess. Dude! Are they hiding in the suns or something? Interesting. Whoa. What? I'm here, little monkey. Let me hear my rattle drum. Oh. The well is here? What? Where are you at? When the dust stops, my cough ends. When the dust stops, my cough no, ends. Our village is fun. I know an old man in the stone and a piggy who steals all the drinks. Oh. Well, that's a secret. Okay, so maybe we have to go back to the well now. Right? Oh no, I didn't kill everything. I think I'm hearing something. No? Okay, maybe not. Yeah, maybe we go back to the well now. Let me see what's up here first though. It's really hard to keep track of all the different ways we can go. Can go here as well. What's this? Is this open? Oh. Oh! I think I know where this is. Isn't this the arena where we fought the Rat King? It could be. I think that's the right place for that interactable. Wait, let's see where this goes. Maybe it drops around or something. Oh, another locked door. Oh, we can open this. Okay. 
What is this? Oh, this is where we fought the thing. The first Prince of the Flowing Suns. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this way is towards the arena, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, since we're here then, let's go do that really quick. But I think all this is going to do is to open the door, right? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, it's the same thing as the other statue. Okay, so this is just a shortcut, basically. Okay, okay. Well, let's go back to... We have the shrine here, so let's go back to the Tiger Vanguard's arena. Because there was a statue there as well. And after that, we're just gonna visit the... What's it called? The well again. Let's rest. Travel. Temple entrance, right? Crouching Tiger Temple. Okay, things are happening. Everything is the same here. Okay, let's see what this does. This one... Okay. It still needs both the sternness and the keenness. Is it an entrance to a new area? Oh, that's cool. And drains the pool as well. That is sick. That's amazing. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're here, so let's see what's down there. Look at this. So dark in here. thing here and we've got a spark so we can also upgrade our critical strike maximum health okay i'll take it okay sure let's do some um, crit strike here critical hits i'm sorry nice I wish I knew more about all these figures, but I don't. Very cool, though. Oh? Can we cheat? No. Oh, I see a blue enemy over there. How many are there? Three enemies? Um, can we do this? No, can we? Oh, I guess it's too late now. Okay, what does this do? Whoa, there are like a lot of them here. What is this? I don't understand what this does. Are we gonna die here? No. Just distract them, bro. Nice. How do you miss that? Makes no sense. Okay, wait a second. I wanna die here. Oh, it actually got cancelled? What? Nice. 
Oh, where is the other one? Oh. Bro. Okay. What's this? Did the speed we have right now actually increase our mana? I didn't notice a significant improvement. Civet Sergeant. Uh, oh, this one. Slightly increases attack. Juggle twin blades and hurl them at the foe's chest. Once stricken, the foe shall suffer the agony of a pierced heart. Uh, I mean, we can try it. Increases attack, so that's probably good. Okay. Let's try, let's try. Silk, nice. This place is all under the temple? What? Surely not, right? Oh, another shrine. And something over there. Okay, let's rest. What's this? Huh? Oh, it's the dude. It's it's you again. It's me. You've the I remember the guy from the trailer, right? He was bounding on this brazier or whatever. Yeah. What is this? Can we like do anything? What? Oh, make medicines? Self-refinement is the way to make golden pills. What say you, brave one? I can never repay you for saving my life. Oh, here. A token of my gratitude. What did he give me? Mind core? In fairness, there is fire, and in fire, there are pills. An achievement. Store? Oh, what is this? An ancient tattered page records a formula for the longevity decoction. Upon use, considerably increases maximum health. I guess we can buy it, sure. I don't know what that is. A formula. Oh, this we can... Can we sell this for actual uh, will? Is this their purpose? Some trade could be done at the Keeper's Shrine. Yeah, I think we just sell those. Right? Unless I'm just uh, being stupid here. Okay, okay, okay. And what is this? Celestial Medicines. Uh, a lesser celestial medicine that permanently and moderately increases maximum health? What? Maximum mana, stamina, defense, recovery rate, chill, burn, poison, shock resistance. What? And what is this? Oh, these are just consumables. Can we just make all of this in the shrine? Dude, what is this? We can increase our mana and stamina? I don't think I want to do health. I think I want to do mana. Can we do like full mana? From yin and yang, five elements emerge. Each nature inherits its unique creation. Each form embodies a universe. So how much is that? What kind of increase are we talking about here? Plus 40. How much is that? Eh, it's not a lot, but like, it's something. 
I guess we're gonna do like some stamina and some mana. Don't really care about health. Maybe stamina recovery would be good. Eh, I guess we'll hold on for now. Oh, we can also respect them. I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Sick! Okay. And now what is this? Where does this go? Yellow wind formation? That looks like something I don't want to be in. Let's go this way first. What even is this? Have we been here before? Okay, we have been here before, no? This door is open. Is this where we use the thing? Okay, it is. That's where we slid down from. And we've been there, right? Yeah, I think we've been there. So, okay, okay. L before I forget, let me go back to the shrine. And go back to that slide we were before. Because there were enemies and items on the way. Okay, rock class platform. This is where we want to be, right? And we went this way. Was it here? And we went down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So how do we do this? Can we just not go on the slide? Okay. We have to stick to the left here. Wait, we can't... How do we do? <laughs> okay, is this like cheating? Should I not be able to do this? I feel like I cheated here. Where is this? There's a chest down there. <laughs> I feel like the game doesn't want us to do this. But yeah. <laughs> Let me see. So what's this? Blood of the Iron Bull. There are enemies here, so there must be a way to actually counteract this effect from the from the slide. Otherwise, we couldn't come here. Unless we could jump down from that bridge or something. That's nuts. 1200? Wait, we can't go up there? Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I think we cheated here. We shouldn't have been able to do this. But that's fine. That's fine. Well... I guess we... Wait, can we go up there? No. So there must be a way to get up here normally, like, like this. But we can't. Okay, well, we're gonna figure it out in the next episode probably. Next time when we come back, we're just gonna check out the well again. And try to go towards that peak we skipped before, right? But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.